guys, in this video I'm going to talk you through some exam questions on bearings. Now if you're new to bearings you might want to have a look at my other video first which is more of an introduction, okay, because here we're going straight into the exam stuff. So anyway, have fun! Okay, so in this first exam question we must find the bearing of P from L. So because it says from L, it means we have to measure the bearing from the north arrow of L. So you need to take your pen and place it somewhere above the point L. It doesn't matter exactly where along the north arrow of L. And then you need to draw clockwise around the point L until you hit the line that travels to P. So that is the bearing we're trying to work out. Remember, bearings are always measured clockwise from the north arrow. Okay, so hopefully you know some rules of parallel lines and angles on parallel lines. These two inside angles here, they always add up to 180. So to find this one here, I just do 180 minus 145, which gives me 35. So we know that that angle is 35. We also know that there are 360 degrees in one full circle. So if I want to work out this bearing, all I need to do is 360 degrees minus those 35 degrees here. And when I do that, I get 325 degrees. So that is the answer to the first question. I'm going to assume that you know about Pythagoras and trigonometry because you need to use both of those in this exam question. So if you're not sure about those topics, please have a look at my other videos and then you can come back to these bearings. So in the first one, it wants us to work out the distance PQ, which is this distance here. And I know that this is a right angle triangle because it told us in the exam question that the ship sails from P west and then south to Q, which means that that angle there is 90 degrees. So we can use Pythagoras to work out the unknown side because we know the lengths of those two sides. So because we're finding the hypotenuse, we need to square and add those two sides together before square rooting. Remember, it's always plus whenever you're finding the hypotenuse, okay, the one opposite the right angle. And if you were finding one of these two, then it would have been subtract. So when I put that in the calculator and I round to three significant figures, I get 18.4 kilometers. Now onto the bearing. It says to use trigonometry, which you might know as Sokotoa, and we have to calculate the bearing of P from Q. So because it says from Q in this question, we need to start on the north arrow of Q. Well, here's the line going above Q. So this is like the north arrow of Q here. So you need to put your pen above the point Q somewhere and you turn clockwise around the point Q, but you stop when you hit the line that travels to P. Okay, so that's the angle, the bearing, that we need to calculate in this part of the question. So, it's a right angle triangle, we're finding an angle and we know two sides, so it's Sokotoa. So you need to label the two sides that you know. This is the opposite side, because it's opposite the angle we're trying to work out. And this one is the adjacent, because it's against the angle we're trying to work out. So if we're using opposite and adjacent, you need to use tan. And because we're finding an angle, it's tan minus one. And tan is always O divided by A, the opposite divided by the adjacent. So we're doing 16 divided by nine. And when I put that in the calculator, if I round to one decimal place, I get 60.6 degrees. And because we're dealing with bearings, we can stick a zero at the front there, okay? As that's what we usually do with bearings. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so in this question, we have to show that QPR equals 55 degrees. So QPR is angle P 
which is this one here. So if it's a show that question, basically we have to calculate this angle and hopefully we'll get the same as we have here, 55 degrees. So if I'm trying to work out this angle, and this is a right angle triangle, I label the two sides that have been given in the question. So this side over here is opposite the angle we're trying to find, and this side is adjacent because it's against the angle that we're trying to find. So it's going to be tan in this one because it's toa. So we write tan minus one, and it's always opposite divided by adjacent. So 10.3, divided by 7.2 and when I put that in the calculator I get 55.045 which we can say is approximately equal to 55 degrees okay so we've done the first one the showing that is just the working out part okay which we've got here now onto the bearing so it says to write down the bearing of R from P so it says from P so we need to put our pen above the point P, somewhere along the north arrow, so here, and we go clockwise until we hit the line that travels to R. Okay, so this is the line travelling to R. So we need to work out that red arrow there, okay, that's the bearing. Before we can do that, we need to know what this angle is. Well, fortunately, we already know this one is 55 degrees. We also are given this one up here, 98 degrees. And here we've got a straight line. And angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. So if we subtract these two numbers from 180, we'll be left with this angle here. So 180 minus 55 minus 98 gives me 27. So that's this little angle in here. So now to work out the bearing, we just need to add 98 and 27 together. So 98 plus 27 is 125 degrees. And because we already have three figures before the decimal, we don't need to put a zero at the front. So there is the final answer. question we have to work out the angle RPQ so that means angle P which is this one here inside the triangle hopefully you know that all triangles have angles that add up to 180 degrees so I can work out that angle P by subtracting these two angles which we know from 180 so 180 minus 84 minus 67 gives me 29. So that's the answer to the first part. So we worked out angle P. Now, for the bearing. So find the bearing of P from R. So because it says from R, that means we need to measure the bearing from the north arrow of R. So here's point R, and here's the north arrow of R. So I put my pen just above the point R, somewhere along that arrow, and I have to turn clockwise around the point R until I hit the line that travels to P, okay? So that's the bearing that we need to work out in this question. Now, remember from that first question, I said when you get parallel lines, so north arrows, these two inside angles always add together to give 180 degrees. So with that in mind, we can work out this angle. Now, let me use a different colour. We can work out this angle. Because I know this one, okay? If I add 43 and 29 together, I get 72 degrees. So this angle is 72 degrees, which means we can work out this part here. Remember, they add to give 180. So if I subtract 72 from 180, I get 108, which is this angle over here. So we're nearly there. Remember we're trying to work out that bearing, the red arrow. And we know this side, okay, is 108. And there are always 360 degrees in a full circle. So if I subtract 108 
from 360, I can calculate that bearing. So, let me do that over here, 360 minus 108, which gives me 252 degrees. So that is the answer to the final question. So I hope you found those bearings questions helpful. Maybe you noticed that none of them were to scale. That just means that you can't use a protractor to measure the bearings. So I will have another video coming up soon where they are to scale, so you'll be using a protractor and sometimes you might have to draw them yourself. So keep your eyes peeled for that video coming soon.